We're, we're going for a high death count. We're not going not to get caught, Ryan. If we're going for guns, we're just going to end. We're just going to uh, grab the guns and get out of there and kill everybody in the lane. We're going to make history. We're going to make history. For all you FBI agents watching this, <laughs> Uh, you weren't quick enough. You weren't quick enough, and you weren't s smart enough. And we're going over today, Nixon's house. We're, we're gonna go snoop around over there and try to see if she's home alone or not. And if she's home alone, splat! Oh, she did. Don't put your humor into this, Brian. Uh, I, I'm not putting any humor into it. Yep. People will die. And then memories will fade. Memories will fade. Hmm, I wonder what movie you got that from, Brian. Myself. <laughs> that was for myself. No wonder it was so lame. Okay, we're on our way, and I'm gonna. I'll let you stay tuned. We're almost there. Nixon's house. It's clear out there in the pasture. We've already snooped around her house a couple times. Uh, it just, she's not at home, so we're gonna go to the church over there, and we're gonna call. A, a girl and a guy named Cassie and Matt. They're our, our friends, but we have to make sacrifices, so. Um, I feel t tonight it is the night, and I feel really weird, it, you know, it's having stomach and stuff, and I feel like I want to kill somebody. So, uh, I know that's not you know, normal, but what the hell. I feel... We need to break away from normal life. How bright is this light? Because, let's say it this way. Parents, along with their parents, along with their parents, and so on, uh -huh. taught them that God, Jesus, the whole bullshit <laughs> line. I'm sure you guys believe in God as well. I realized when I was in seventh grade, along, you don't believe in Santa Claus or <laughs> vampires or werewolves, they're used to metaphor, not to let, they teach their kids back in the 1800s, I learned this in English class, about telling their kids that you can't go outside or a vampire will get you, just to make their kids stay and do what they want to do. God is basically God's the order, same right? way. Yep. Trying to get people to do good or else, so-called, you go to hell. And we're obviously going to hell if it's real, but you know, who gives a shit? Uh, yeah. It's not right. real, because it's so blatantly obvious it's not real. But <laughs> People believe it because their parents teach them, and so it's so hard for them to let go of it because they've been taught their whole life. Yeah, I know. But fucking what the point I'm making is... We are also taught that things like killing people and all the other thing is wrong. The only thing that it's wrong about is because it's breaking the law, and the law is only wrong. It, the law That's just selection, dude. Because That's just selection. That's all I gotta say. There should be no law against killing people. I know it's a wrong thing, but hell, selection. hell. You restrict somebody from it, they're gonna want it more. Exactly. Goodbye, camera. My friend's too pussy to go investigate. Turn here. Too smart. Why are you turning there, dude? It's faster. Okay. Now we're gonna go over to Cassie and Matt's house. If they're home alone, we're gonna. Hey, Cassie's house. Matt is there. Matt is there. Sorry. We're gonna go. We're gonna knock on the door. We'll see who's there. We'll see. see the we'll, we'll see if their parents are home or not. If they're home alone. We will leave our way, and then we will come back in about 10 minutes. We'll sneak in through the door, because chances are they're probably in Cassie's room. So we'll sneak in the front door, we'll make a noise outside, and Matt will come out to investigate, kill him, and it will scare the shit out of Cassie. Okay? Well, Sounds like fun. We'll stay tuned. We found our victim, and sad as it may be, she's our friend. But you know what? We all have to make sacrifices. Our first victim is going to be Cassie, Stoddard, and her God, friends. God, turn your brights off, asshole! Well, yeah, we'll find out if she has friends over. She's going to be alone in a big, dark house, 
out in the middle of nowhere. How perfect can you get? Like, I mean, like, holy shit, dude. I'm horny just thinking about it. Hell yeah. So we're gonna fucking kill her and her friends, and we're gonna keep moving on. I heard some news about Kirsten. She's gonna be home alone from six to seven. So we might kill her, then drive over to Cassie's thing, and scare the shit out of them, then kill them one by fucking one. Hell yeah. Why one by one? Why can't it be a slaughterhouse? Two by two and three by three? Because we gotta keep it classy. So yeah, classy. it's gonna be extra fun. You're evil. <laughs> yes, I am. So are you? No, like, evil is evil. an expression of God. That was another test you felt. Evil is not an expression of God. Yes, it is. That's bullshit, you know it. Evil of origin is a follower of fucking Satan. There is, is no Satan. Satan. Real? Then shut then, up. And then how are we supposed to express ourselves? Good and bad. We're, we're bad. We're bad. That sounds so shitty. We're evil. That sounds hey. even shittier. We're not, okay? They were sick psychopaths that they get pleasure of killing other people. That sounds good, baby. We're gonna go down in history. Good. We're gonna be just like Scream, except real life terms. That we're sounds gonna be good, murders. baby. Like, let's see, Ted Bundy. Like the Hillside Strangler. No. The Zodiac Killer. Those people are more amateurs compared to what we're gonna be. We're gonna be more of higher sources of Ed Gold. Gene. Gene. <laughs> <laughs> well, except with that sick and that twisted. <laughs> oh, do you know what Ed Gene's words were? What? He saw a girl walking down the street, right? Yeah. Two questions came to his head. Hmm, I could take her out, have a nice time with her. The killer? <laughs> and show her a good her time, alive. charm the pants off her, or I wonder what her head would look like on a stick. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's creepy, yes. huh? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> murder is power, murder is freedom. Goodbye. Hey look, it's Cassie. Hey, look, I don't know. Hello, Cassie. <laughs> I'm getting you on tape, okay? Say hi, please. Hi. Okay, see ya. Wait, have you seen Tori? He's supposed to meet me here at 7.30 and it's 8.19. He's an hour late. You don't even care, do you? <laughs> okay. See ya. Wait, there's a guy in here. Glory, September 22nd, 2006. We're skipping our fourth hour. We're writing our plan right now for tonight. It's gonna be cool.
Number two is what? Yeah, if you're watching this, we're probably deceased. So it's pretty creepy. I just thought of that. Okay. <sighs> Whatever. Well, actually, that's what happens. You die. Yeah, that's what happens. 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 I don't know, this tape is already been used about halfway through. No, sure. Yeah. Mark where it is supposed to, to happen tonight. So hopefully, I think we'll go wrong. If we go smoothly, we can get our first kill up started, and we can keep going. Good luck on that. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Hopefully, you have to get eight or nine failures like we have. Yeah. You probably tried it ten times, but they've never been on the road, so. More than they have, the parents show up. Uh, as long as we're patient, you know. And we were patient, and never getting paid off because I missed it so long. So we got our, our plan all worked out now, so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cassie's family, but she had to be number one. We have to stick with the plan. And she's perfect, so she's gonna die. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a house, probably. And we have a new victim now. Her name is Miranda Chacon. She started to She told me to be quiet and to <laughs> shut up, so now she's dead. <laughs> I've always wanted to make a mark on the world and stuff. And this is a good way to do it. We have to kill all those Mormons. There's some Mormons out there. I know. Combine my love with horror movies with my love wanting to, you know, be popular. Hey, this. You want to be popular? No, you know, like, be popular. Um, Everybody knows my name. Well, I care. I care, 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 I it kills kind of I think I like always twenty. Twenty kills. That's a lot of kills. That's a lot of people to kill. <laughs> but there's a lot of people on this planet. I agree. <laughs> when I die I want to stab it. She's like, no one kills that. It shall be done. We will see. Oh my abs are so soon. Well we're on there if you know that. Break through the house if you need so. Three piece. Oh. 
Can you be in class? Sir? We're taking our back to right now. Oh, sorry. I just don't know. Ah, no, it's cool. It's cool. We're stuck in the rain. Just need for school. For school projects. I guess. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I guess you call it project, right? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell are you guys doing? Nice. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> so now, How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. Now we're saying. Are you playing soccer? No. Not this year. I decided to not play soccer this year. I have more important things to do. Not sure. A lot more important. Yeah. So, I'm not playing soccer. And you're on JV, I think it. Really? You're on varsity? I'm supposed to go to the game tomorrow. I'm going with my grandpa. That's right after he ate. So. Is it so you take some more classes? No. Just not playing soccer. Well, I know. <laughs> it's terrible. What the hell are you doing? Pull behind our camera now. For all you viewers, this is the three piece and, and biscuit. Three piece and biscuit. Inside joke. That's his name, man. And he plays foosball. And he stopped. He stopped to say hi. <laughs> okay. Yep. Uh, um. Stay tuned. Hold on.
We're here in his car. The time is 9.50, September 22nd, 2006. Um, unfortunately, we have the grueling task of killing our two friends. And they are right in that house just down the street. We just talked to them. We were there for an hour. But we checked out the whole house. We know there's lots of doors. There, there's lots of places to hide. Um, I locked the back doors. That's all locked. Now we just gotta wait. And um, we're we're really nervous right now, but you know we're ready. We're listening to the greatest rock band. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Pink Floyd. Before we commit the ultimate crime of murder. We waited for this for a long time. A long time. We'll stay tuned. Just killed Cassie. We just left her house. This is not a fucking joke. I'm shaking. I stabbed her in the throat and I saw her lifeless body just disappear. Dude, oh I just killed God. Cassie. Oh, oh, fuck. That felt like it wasn't real. I mean, it went by so Shut fast. Shut the fuck up. We gotta get our act straight. It's okay. Okay, we'll, we'll, let's buy movie tickets now. Okay. Come on. No. Goodbye. What's going on? Somebody looks dead on my bed. Oh my god, it's my cousin's daughter. I need an ambulance. Let me get your automatical stay on the line. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There's a ghost dead on my floor. Honey, it's a dreaming. No, she isn't. She's cold. Oh my god. She's cold as a pie. Okay, you want, do you want to start CPR? Her fingers are blue. Okay, how old is she? She's 16, 17. And her mom just drove up here and she's dead. Okay, hon, we're going to get them coming, okay? Oh my god, okay.